I want to pick up a few comments. Uh, massive, oh, where is it now? Massive something or other uh, talks about Mr. Farage and a massive hero says, you're lying about Farage's language about immigrants. What hate language? All he says is there are literally too many people coming in. That's it. Lying about his language is to debase his genuine opinion and one held by many Brits. Uh, no, 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 not notice, notice my inflection there is very Farageic. Uh, well, the point is, Farage has been condemned, along with David Cameron and um, Katie Price, what, uh, what, what, uh, Katie Hopkins, sorry, Katie Hopkins, let me not get that wrong, who talked about cockroaches. Um, but uh, there was the, uh, the European Commission for Racism and Intolerance in 2016 talked about a number of areas of concern and uh, talked talk specifically about the Polish student who was stabbed in the neck in Telford, the Polish man killed in Harlow, uh, the rise in um, appalling language that then continued from the um, referendum to the present day, uh, but but specifically at this point, the organisation, the ECHR, the ECRI, was looking at the uh, online and reported speeches of politicians, particularly of Cameron, um, who talked about uh, I think a swarm, and Farage, uh, who was who, who was particularly singled out again for xenophobic content and uh, Farage talked about uh, public concern about immigration partly because people believe that uh, there are some Muslims who want to form a fifth column and kill us. Utterly ridiculous. Anyway, uh, the, real, the real issue with Farage is his partisan xenophobia. And when you factor in his links with the Serbian regime and his visits to that, that area of the Balkans, his comments about Albanians takes on an entirely different light, uh, particularly when viewed in the context of the um, national tensions in Kosovo. And I regard his statements as extraordinarily provocative um, and and it's in that context equally that I uh, condemn Suella Braverman. These two individuals should know better than to stir up a hornet's nest and um, the uh, the, the, the prisoner exchange and all that sort of stuff from Chris Phelps is an entirely different matter but the defamation, the misinformation, the generalizing labels um, about Albanians, um, which, uh, which, which have gone on and which Nigel Farage has particularly promoted. And it's, it, it's simply not true that Farage is innocent of this, that Farage is, um, is, is an insignificant contributor. He is a significant contributor to the rise of in xenophobic language in our country. And uh, he talks about um, uh, now, now that one in 10 foreign born parents in the UK are Albanian, any guess as to the ratio in five years time uh, it's uh, in, in, in the context of the UK population that rise in Albania is negligible and false it's just provocative xenophobia um, and he says that uh, um, he says that they were not poor the, the, the Albanians trying to cross the English Channel were not poor desperate people uh, as the BBC is trying to portray them. No, they are young men and many of them are actually pretty aggressive. 
these generalizations when you use a generalization to talk about crime which is what he's doing uh and you and that generalization is based on race or nationality it is racist uh when you talk about crime and you talk about specific criminals who happen to be from a particular race that is not racist but when you talk about um when you generalize that is racism and that is the language of farage and that is the language of suella bravman and we shouldn't be surprised that people object to that um and there isn't a defense for that unless um and unless the individuals want to come forward and say they didn't mean that but they haven't done that uh the the other point i'd like to i i i'd like to mention is somebody has uh, has said that i keep mispronouncing jk rowling's name uh i should be pronouncing it rowling's i'm sorry uh, i'll um I'll, i'll make an effort to do so like baroness moan um but unless i write it on my on my wall i'm unlikely to remember but i will try rowling's um and uh uh like um like uh, Nadine Dorries uh books I've read all Rowling stuff and um I I much prefer the originals but uh I I I've I've en- I enjoyed Harry Potter I don't like her other stuff which is uh uh dull but that that Harry Potter stuff um and particularly the transformation into the films is spectacular uh and the fact that it is heavily dependent on the writings of people like Ursula K Le Guin I don't think matters too much um it's a it's it, it's a fine contribution to uh storytelling and literature